Hello and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to finally be making this video. I have wanted to for the longest time. Um, if you clicked on this, obviously you know I am pregnant and just so, so thrilled. My fiance and I could not be more excited. Um, I am the mother to a one-year-old little girl named Eva and she just turned one about a month ago and I am six weeks and four days today, which is, oh my gosh, it's just amazing to me. Um, it's just such a miracle and especially with baby number two, this is, it's had its, well, trying to conceive has had its own set of challenges that's very different from trying to conceive my daughter. So, um, but that's a whole nother video, which I'm gonna make ASAP, um, and I'll add the link um, from this video, um, or link them together, uh, so you can get to that. Because definitely, trying to conceive when you're breastfeeding has challenges, and I tried a lot of things and went through a lot to get my cycle back and all that. So, but anyway, that is another video. So right now, um, I will get into where baby is uh, at six weeks and four days. Um, so actually, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna start with how we found out I'm pregnant. So basically, um, because we were trying to conceive, it was uh, a, well, I was testing basically every single day. Um, <laughs> I was just, I bought these strips from Amazon, which because I was trying to conceive, I had bought ovulation strips and I got a pack with 60, I believe, ovulation test strips and then 20 pregnancy tests. And they're just a really, really basic, I have a few here. Um, the really, really basic little strips, um, which test for HCG. Um, human chorionic, oh, that's a big word. Um, <laughs> I have no idea, but something like that. It's the, uh, it's the hormone that's released when you, when you're pregnant, that your body starts to produce. So anyway, I had those. And so I was just testing those regularly, uh, to see if I could get the first glimpse or the first idea if I was pregnant and um, finally I was due to start on the Saturday and I tested on Wednesday, which would have been five days <laughs> before. Um, and I saw the tiniest, most faint line. But when you know as a mom, I feel like you know. I saw that line. Now, my fiance did not see that line. He's like, I see where a line could be, which uh, made me so mad. I was so frustrated. I was like, no, look again, look again. I'm putting it in the light. I'm putting it here, putting it there. And um, so finally he was like, maybe, maybe. And, but we, we waited. So I, couldn't wait. I went and I bought a digital that day because I thought, well, maybe the digital will say. And unfortunately on that day, it did not. And so then I was like, okay, I am really either too soon or I'm just reading too much in and, and you know, seeing lines that aren't there. So um, anyway, that was the 4th of July. Uh, so I was a little bit bummed out because I thought, okay, well then I guess we weren't successful and we hadn't been successful, successful the month before. So, um, but the next morning I woke up and I took another just basic strip test and the line was there again, just ever so slightly darker. And I was like, I know, I know I'm pregnant. There's no way that anyone is going to convince me that I'm not. And uh, I think at that point he was fairly convinced because you could kind of tell, but it was still so faint. You just, you wouldn't have believed it unless you've kind of seen those extremely early tests. So um, then two days later, I got a positive on an early digital. So it was so thrilling to see that yes and to have that confirmation because I feel like everyone really believes it when you see it say yes or pregnant or any of those, any of the above. 
So it was just amazing and because we, I was trying to get my cycle back and we were trying different things. I was trying teas and creams and uh, eating habits and trying a lot of different things to get my cycle and to continue breastfeeding. Uh, it took about six months, which I know does not seem like a lot to a lot of people. Um, and I know a lot of people struggle so much and go through the challenge and emotional ups and downs for so long. And my heart just goes out to you. If you're going through that, my prayers and my positivity and just anything I can give off to you. You know, I just, I do. I know it must be incredibly painful and challenging, but I just hope you stay strong and positive and, and I know it'll happen. It just will, it just, gotta keep strong. Um, and so I, anyway, so we were just so thrilled to finally get that positive um, and to know that we are able to have a sibling for Eva and uh, especially kind of close in age, I was really hoping to be able to do that. Um, my brother and I are close in age and that bond has just been one of the most important things to me in my life. Uh, so I'm just thrilled to be able to give that to my daughter. So. That's how we found out. Uh, now on to the baby and the size and where we are as of now. So I am six weeks, four days, and the baby is the size of a sweet pea, uh, which is huge compared to where it was not long ago. But at the same time, I barely feel pregnant. It seems so small, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so. I did have a raisin, yes I do. So I don't have any blueberries because we made blueberry pancakes today and we used all the blueberries. So I am going to approximate with this little raisinette, which I believe is pretty close to the size of a blueberry, I think. We'll go with that. Anyway, so um, yeah, about there. Um, it's a little less than a half of an inch and the size of a sweet pea. Um, baby's heart is beating twice the rate of mine at this point, which I am just so happy to know there's a heartbeat in there. Um, or I believe there's a heartbeat in there. Uh, I actually go for my for my um, ultrasound, my viability scan on Thursday of this week, uh, this coming week, and today is Sunday. So I have four days to wait, um, well, three and a half, I'm counting down, <laughs> um, to hear that little heartbeat and just to know that everything is fine. Um, I'm just so, so looking forward to hearing that. Um, yeah, and nervous. I think uh, everybody goes through that. It's in these really beginning times, it's such a, an exciting time and a scary time. I think one of the first things that start for me when I'm pregnant is I'm elated. I'm almost so happy. I'm immediately afraid because it's like, oh my gosh, the possibility. And I want it so much. And then it's like happening. And then there's that part of me that is then so, so afraid that something will, will happen. And um, so I kind of immediately get paranoid about everything I'm doing and have been doing. And um, even though I was, you know, I w was trying to conceive, so I was trying to do the right things beforehand, I still, it still made, makes me kind of anxious and nervous. So um, yeah. And then little things happen, like my daughter, uh, we co-sleep, so kicking my stomach at night or, um, you know, uh, something I ate and I got food poisoning when I must have been only maybe four or five days pregnant and I was immediately concerned about that or could that have hurt the baby? So uh, as soon as I found out, it's like, okay, now these list of fears kind of come on and, um, that's something that I struggle with, but I have to get through. And my fiance is so amazing. I call him with all these, like I'll call him with something I'm afraid of now during the day that I did or that. And he's like, it's okay. He's just really good at calming me down and kind of reassuring me. And even though I kind of roll my eyes at it sometimes, like 
because he's just like, you know, it's gonna be okay, babe. It's gonna be, and I'm like, it doesn't really help. It does actually <laughs> help. So, because I still call. Um, and then obviously I talk to him, you know, if he's here. But anyway, so that's one of the things, I don't know that I would classify as a symptom, but it is something that I experience kind of right off the bat. Uh, also with symptoms right now, I am completely exhausted. I think uh, a lot of it is due to the fact that I am running after a one-year-old who is absolutely just full on right now at her stage um, and she is beginning to walk and she crawls like we call her bullet because she's just off and it is incredible how fast she is and she's into everything she's on top of everything and she climbs everything and she's figuring out doorknobs and she's you know I'm like what is happening and so anyway she's just like a little tornado I'm always after her and I think because of um, these early, the, the what it takes in the beginning of pregnancy out of you, um, I would just feel a lot more this time than I did in my previous pregnancy. Um, so that's definitely a big one. Plus I've been up a lot at night because we do co-sleep and while I love it for a lot of reasons, sometimes it can be also hard for me because I end up really not getting the best sleep a lot so um, but that's another video <laughs> uh, so exhaustion for sure um, dizziness oh my gosh I definitely had this really badly the last pregnancy and this time it is full on I get head rushes when I when I get up a couple times a day and I do stay hydrated and eat and keep up with my sugar intake to kind of try to keep myself at an even um, level, but at the same time, it just still happens to me. And not every time, but I would say probably 50%. Um, and it overwhelms me so much so that I have to sit down and it lasts for probably what's only 10 seconds, but it really overwhelms me to the point that I almost feel like if I gave in, I could faint or whatever. So I try to get up slowly. I'm trying to combat that a little bit. Um, like I said, with eating properly and, uh, but I am unfortunately still going through that a lot. Uh, can't wait for that to, um, get a little bit better. Uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, food aversions. Yes. I remember this well from the very beginning. It was one of the first pregnancy symptoms that I felt with my daughter and I, whenever there would be um, any any cooking with garlic or um, onions or anything really kind of really strong, I just couldn't take it. I almost just would have to leave the room. Um, yeah, or it would just make me, not as, I don't know that I would say nauseous, but really not pleasant. Just didn't want to be around it definitely would not be able to eat it. So that was, oh, low power mode. Hopefully this will last. Um, anyway, so yes, food aversions for sure. Uh, no cravings yet, um, but I am increasing my eating just to, because I'm still breastfeeding also. So um, in order to take care of myself, the tiny little baby, and my daughter, I'm just eating quite a bit. Um, uh, this is a weird one <laughs> that I, I didn't know whether I would share or not, but I thought, well, I bet some other moms are going through this. Um, like sexy dreams. It's, it's like, uh, it's embarrassing and it's bizarre. I went through this with my daughter as well when I was pregnant with her almost throughout. Um, but yeah, just sexy dreams. And they're, they are what they are. It's like, I mean, I guess everybody has that on occasion, you know, in normal life, but I think it's so weird that when you're pregnant, it's like more often. So anyway, that's happening. Um, <laughs> moodiness. I 
it's less so now, thank goodness. I don't know that my fiance would agree, but um, I definitely, in the very beginning, that's something I noticed that tipped me off that I might be pregnant because I just felt overly moody. Oh, but things would just affect me more, almost as if I was gonna get my period, which I thought, of course, I thought, well, I, I could also just be getting my period. Um, Cause things just would, instead of just being like, okay, well that's sort of annoying, it would be like, that is so annoying and that happens all the time and I've just had it. So um, that is a strong one, but definitely I feel getting better. I can let things just kind of roll off and it doesn't affect me as much. Um, but like I said earlier, one of the things that happens to me when I get pregnant is the anxiety. Um, which I don't really read a lot of, um, from other women as being a symptom or from online uh, resources, but I definitely have that as just an effect of, of pregnancy. And I think it's just because it's overwhelming and I wanna do everything right. Um, and I, you know, I just, little things will happen that will make me nervous. That, I'll want to call the doctor about, but then I don't because I don't want to be one of those people <laughs> who calls the doctor about everything. And I, I, I really, really rarely do unless it's something that's um, uh, that is a necessity. And usually I'll just look up online, like, do I should I call the doctor? <laughs> and then I go based on that. So anyway, that is pretty much it for right now. Um, I guess I will do a belly shot, which is so bizarre when you're this far along because obviously there really isn't anything, but I'll do it just for the sake of documenting. I took the liberty of unbuttoning my jeans so that you can kind of see. Let's see, front view. It's a pretty dark inside view. And if it looks like I have a bump, it's really just pudge, um, just a little, you know, if I didn't, I don't know, maybe a little bit, but I think it's really just my stomach. I'm sorry, it's so bad. I'm all blotchy. Yeah. So that's all. Nothing much going on yet. Yeah. So anyway, that is all uh, for this update and I'm going to film the video about trying to conceive um, and what we did and the challenges we faced and then I will link that below and other than that I will see you guys next week for week seven um, update and then also after it'll be right after my doctor's appointment so I'll be able to hopefully show little pictures and give you the update from the doctor. So thank you so much for watching my first YouTube video. I appreciate it so much. I hope you follow me along on this journey. Um, and if you have any channels or anything, um, I would love to watch you as well or chat with you or get to know you. So please leave me a comment um, and I'd love to see you again. Have a great day.